Hello again, boys and girls. It's story time. Because really, who doesn't love story time? I know I love story time. And this one's pretty convoluted. So we'll, we'll preface it a little bit. We have to do some prefacing here for the story time. First of all, the video you're watching, a lot of it is relevant. Some of it's uh, depictions and recording of what actually happened that I'm telling in the story. Some of it's stuff that went on in and around in, in bits of this. There, I think there's some... There's a little bit of CEO and pajama stuff going on here. I think there might even be some associate footage here. I, I changed back to a suit and did some associate work. That might be sped up because that was just kind of more a point of how difficult it is to fly an ultralight. But I'm not even trying to put that in here just yet. For right now, that's the, the first preface. If you watch the whole video, you'll get to see kind of proof of what I'm saying here. That the things that I said went down as they went down. Um, the other thing I want to point out here as part of a preface to the story is that this all started before all that stuff went down with uh, Bruffy1322. So before they deleted his PC account, Rockstar did, and then took all of his money out of his other accounts and, you know, just suddenly out of the blue said, Oh, you know what? We're going to enforce whatever modded money is in your PC account by destroying all of your accounts as much as we possibly can. Originally, they banned all three of them. And uh, I don't know if this had anything to do with him, how shall we say, saying that he wouldn't taste their backsides. Is that the best, most politically correct way of saying uh, what he said? You know, this is their way of perhaps saying lick it, lick it. I don't know. I don't know exactly where, where they went with all this. It was kind of disturbing. Uh, at least he has two accounts working now, I'm sure. I'm sure he has enough people who have his back, or they'll get him up and running again. That's if if he so chooses, you know. And that's at that point, I wouldn't be surprised if it were me. I'd be like, you know what? If you want to be that way, um, fine. I'll go do something else. But you know, he this is his passion. So if he wants to go along with that and keep going, on, he's all support me either way. I'll be watching, you know, watching his videos one way or another. I, I'm not planning on buying any cars until uh, I've seen all of this, all, any of the new cars, until I've seen all his reviews on all of them, so that, you know, I'm not buying the second fastest car before the first fastest car comes out, that kind of thing. Because, you know, uh, Rockstar have been known to do that. So, that's the whole preface. That's just the preface to this story. And the reason I bring up all this stuff about Bruffy is uh, that I would not have gone down this path knowing that was going down. That's, you know probably would have changed my you know my direction on, on things as things went but that's neither here nor there because i didn't so we are where we are so let's get on with the actual story okay around december 8th or 9th i started seeing ads in gta you know those little ones that pop up that say oh you can get this much uh extra cash from your shark cards if you buy a shark card today and I was getting two of them. One said that I could get 60% more money on a shark card if I got it before, if I if I cashed it in by December 10th, I believe. And the other one said I could get 80% on a whale card or above. Is it a whale card or a great white? I think it was a great white or above. If I cashed it in before the 11th. I kept getting these two. I'm thinking, wait a minute, these deals are running concurrently. So in theory, if I were to get... A, uh, a shark card, you know, a, a great white card or above, say a whale card, and then got them both in before their respective dates, I should get 140% of the cash, in theory, because they, they should both work. Now, I kind of hemmed and hawed on this, because I just did a video where I said, look, I'm not paying $80 for a car. Uh, I'm not... I, I turned down the offer for 40%, and... Truth be told, 60% or 80% would be tempting, but probably not quite enough to, you know, that's, you know, 80% wasn't bad, but it was still, you know, depending on what you want to do here, it may not, it may not be a lifestyle changing kind of thing just to get, you know, an extra 80%. So the way it would work out is if I, if I bought a whale card, instead of getting three and a half million, um, 80% gives you 2 million. Uh, you know, eight, no, 60% gives you 2 million, 80% gives you 2.8 million. So together, you're looking at a total of, you know, cashing everything out of like $8.3 million. Well, now that's, that's significant. 
And, you know, it allowed me, first of all, I could test and see if you could get more than one, one uh, offer at a time. That's an interesting scientific kind of thing in itself. If you see two of them, which one gets the nod? Do you get them both? Do you get the bigger one, the smaller one? How does this work? How do the coupons add up? Do the coupons stack? And the other thing is that I would have enough money to finally get, you know, get my MOC and finally perhaps get a hanger or, or you save the money up, use it for, uh, what do you call it? For the whole doomsday heist thing, which was not out yet. Okay. So that's another critical thing. We didn't know exactly how that was going to work. At that time, I was convinced since it was a heist, you know, if you're going to have, someone's going to call you and say, look, you know, it's the end of the world. We need you to, to save the day. You expect them to have their own underground lair. You would expect them to have you buy an underground lair so that they can show up and then ask you to save the world. Doesn't that make sense? You go to their underground lair. So I didn't expect to buy a property with this one. I really didn't. So I thought, well, this could at least get me caught up a little bit. I hemmed it hard and hard and hemmed it. I wasn't going to do it. And you know, finally, my wife said, look, you know, I don't know what even to get you for Christmas. Why don't you just get that? That could be part of your Christmas present. You know, don't don't agonize over it. And I said, okay, well, all right, so we'll do that. So I remember the last time I bought a shark card, I got it from Rockstar Warehouse. And they had a deal where if you bought one, you got another one free. I thought, well, that would be great. If you get yourself a whale card, get a great, get a great white, too. And then have all the bonuses add up, and you'll be independently wealthy. Well, I went there, and... They didn't have any sales running, which is fine. Well, I'm there anyway. So I bought myself a whale card, which it, for those who are uninitiated is $49.99 plus tax. And why there's tax on, on a digital item, I really have no idea. That's that's kind of a bizarre thing. But money changes hands. The government takes its bet. That's how life works. And I noticed when I got the email, it said, we've gotten your money and we will process this within 72 hours. Now, when I made the purchase, it's on the 10th. I needed the codes that day. So now I'm in a panic mode because, you know, I really didn't want to buy just 3.5 million. I wanted the eight. Um, so this was like, well, what do I do now? And so I thought, I should have, I should have done is I should have just gone in game to the online store and then through Steam, buy one pretty much instantly. You know, they just, they just plop right into your account. So I'm kicking myself at this point, but I thought, well, they have a cancellation uh, process here. I could probably cancel one order and then buy the other one. So I went through. The first thing I did was I wanted to make sure I wouldn't end up just in the same boat. So I wanted to know if a, if a shark card would go through. And so I went to buy the cheapest shark card you get, which is two ninety nine. But of course, when you're going through Steam, the smallest amount of money they'll deal with is 5 bucks. So I would have just had Steam money sitting in my account for no reason. So I bought the $5 shark card, which was four ninety nine or whatever. Now there's a penny in my, my, my Steam account, which was like two hundred grand. And oddly enough, that was in, just enough for me to get uh, a, what you would call it, an MOC. So just an empty MOC, nothing really to it. So I did do that. I did buy myself an MOC. It was on sale. That's why I was able to pull that off. So I, I did save, you know, four or five hundred thousand on that, or something like that. Some three hundred thousand. Uh, I saved some money on the MOC, so it was at least a little bit of a victory there. And it did work instantly. So I'm like, okay, well, let's let's do this then. So I canceled the shark card order from Rockstar Warehouse, put that in, said sorry, my bad, bought the wrong thing, move on to the next thing here, and then I went to go buy. The, the bigger shark card from Steam. And I go to do that, and it said Steam Store unavailable. And I kept doing this over and over and over again into the night, and I'm like, I have completely jazzed myself here. I'm trying to think, well, you know, is it some sign from above that I'm not supposed to be buying shark cards? I don't know. It was a weird kind of thing. I could not get back in, and, and now I, I'm, I'm out, you know, I, I'm out of the boat here. I'm completely screwed. So... I get an email from Rockstar Warehouse, and it's the code for the shark card. They didn't cancel it. They sent it to me. I'm like, all right, well, we've got that going for us. Uh, let's punch the code and see if it works. Punch the code in. It works. Got the money. And then I sent a cancellation of the cancellation order email, like a support thing. That, that you know, basically, said, look, I'm sorry. I thought this wasn't going to come in time, and I needed to get this, and blah, 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 and I'm stupid, and, you know, that kind of, you know mea culpa sort of deal and later on i got a couple emails from them one i didn't read because i assume it says look sir what are you trying to pull here you you can't cancel the order after you've used it slap 
And but the next one was I, I didn't read it. I honestly don't know what they said. But the the next one, uh, I read the latest one, and it said, "Don't worry, we thank you for ta- contacting support. You don't have to cancel the cancellation because the cancellation never went through properly in the first place." Okay, so that that was good. So now we've got three point five million, and I went through and I, I kitted out my MOC and I, I bought a hanger, a bare bones basic hanger, just uh, up in a. Up in Fort Zancudo. And the reason I did that, I thought, you know, there's a potential here for another video where I just give a tour of Fort Zancudo without anyone shooting at me. And uh, I thought that would be a worthwhile thing. Even if I never do the Smuggler's Run stuff, and I may do some of the Smuggler's Run stuff, we'll see how it goes. There's there's always an opportunity for the CEO in pajamas to go out there and get, you know, shot by an orbital cannon. Uh, I'm fairly certain in one of these, well, some part of this video, the first, uh, the first time I went into a public lobby where you could have the orbital cannon, I got shot by an orbital cannon like 30 seconds into it. I was like, oh, you're here. <laughs> okay, there you go. That's just, you know, we had to do that. Thank you. you know. Orbital cannon rounds. When someone cares enough to send the very best, you know, that's just great. Um... So at any rate, I, I've got I got that going. So I made those purchases, and I think I ended up with about seven hundred grand left, something around those lines. Did a little bit of racing, made a little bit more money back. Worked on a couple things, and you know I've got seventy two hours before the, the the rest of the bonus money dropped. So I took I think I took a day off. You know I had I had a few hundred thousand in there. I got like again not quite a million, and I go in. After the set, it was as a matter of fact. I don't think I got back into GTA till Thursday or Friday. So this was like well after seventy-two hours. We're we're talking, you know, days and days and days and days. I go and I'm like, all right, now here's the here's the scientific bit, right? Do I get the two million dollar bonus from the sixty percent? Do I get the two point eight million dollar bonus from the eighty percent, or do I get the full four point eight million dollars for both of them? Which is what I was expecting and why I spent the money in the first place just to see. And I logged in and there's nothing. Nothing. No bonus cash whatsoever. No bonus cash whatsoever. I didn't want to I slurred that a little bit saying it the first time, but we're just gonna say it clearly. No bonus cash, okay? And you can imagine my quandary as a gang, where is my money? I mean, this was like a big deal. Uh, that was the whole point was the bonus cash. And so, you know, I, I, I sent in, a, uh, I sent in a, a request to Rockstar Support explaining my conundrum. And I waited. It's about a little more, longer than a day before they got back to me. In which case, I think that's when I was doing the... Uh, I did some associate work with uh, Dumbfound Ed. Really cool guy. If you ever see him online, you know. Give him some props. Nice guy. And uh, made some more money back. I think I got myself up to a million and then, you know, up, updated the... Uh, gave, did some updates to my vigilante so it had enough armor so it wouldn't blow up and cost me $20,000 every time I crashed into the sea. You know, if I had just done that and then probably would have... Well, the sea won't cr- help you if you crash into the sea, but if you land it upside down, that's another problem. So at least it has some armor and some missiles now and some things like that. So I got myself back down to like, you know, five or 600,000. And, uh, yeah. So then I'm waiting to see what I'll get. Now, the only screenshot that I'd taken was of the 80% bonus. I didn't, for whatever reason, I, I thought I'd taken one of the, uh, the 60% bonus, but it mustn't have, uh, I mustn't hit the wrong button. So the only one I was able to present for them was the 80% bonus. And then they said, we're terribly sorry you had difficulty. We've given you $2.8 million. Have a nice day. Now, I don't know how fast they're reading these things, but I did tell them that I'd gotten notifications of both bonuses. But, you know, at, at this point, uh, I'm happy to come out with anything at this point. And, you know, how do you prove that, you know, I'm not just trying to milk the system. I don't, I don't want to, you know... They're giving me the benefit of the doubt on the, that I didn't just get somebody else's screenshot. They obviously don't know. They obviously lost something in the system that says that I was supposed to get that. So I was happy to get something out of it. Still would have liked to have gotten the 4.8. And sadly enough, the week after all this, now they're offering uh, you know two times money and 150% money, which would have given me that. So I should have been more patient, perhaps, or perhaps I should just forego the whole thing. And am I going to put more money down, you know, send some good money after bad? No, no, I'm, I'm done. I've got enough. I've got right now, I'm probably cruising 
right around three and a half million, somewhere in there. It's enough that I can function. You know, I can I can now do some of the things that I wanted to do. Uh, I'm not going to buy any new cars. I might upgrade my. I might I might get myself. I, I do already have an insurgent pickup. I might make it a personal vehicle as opposed to you know because then I can upgrade the heck out of that. And the upgraded insurgent pickup does outgun the regular upgraded insurgent. And as much as I love the white elephant, there there's some. It's a much hardier vehicle as I understand it. So we might have to we might have to do that. But I'm gonna hold off purchasing anything from the uh, the Doomsday Heist. Any of those cards. I I'm not. I really don't want to buy a Pariah. The pariah is just so wrong. It is such a, hey, you like to race? Well, we're going to make you lose every race unless you buy the pariah. I mean, how do you make a sports car that is, you know, four miles an hour at higher top speed than any supercar? It's just ridiculous. That's just, you know, that this thing is just so overpowered and probably nothing can happen to it. I'm probably going to have to buy one at some point. But for a million and a half and figure two million fully low, it's going to make me broke again. No, I'm not going to do that. I'll, I'll run King Elegy against it and see how well I do for a while. That, that's a good enough experiment, you know. And uh, we'll go from there. But there's a couple cars that I really do want. The Hermes? How could you not want a Hermes? You know, if that car is competitive, that's what I'm going to raise from now on because that is just so cool. Uh, the, I think what do they call it? The Hunter? Is that the other one? It looks like a 32 Ford kind of deal. That that's sort of the hot rod one. That's really kind of cool. If only that, you know, I have a video that I haven't even uploaded yet where I bought a hot knife and I tried to modify it and get a certain look out of it and struggled with that. But this one looks like some of the mods that you couldn't do with the hot knife, you could do with this one. So I'm looking forward to that. Customizable look alone, it'll be great. And if it's competitive, well, then that's another one that I'll be running all the time because that is really cool. <laughs> The uh, the hot rod pickup, the, the oh. what's it called? The Yosemite? The slammed pickup. That's interesting. I wouldn't mind getting one of those, but I wouldn't want to get it before I get the Hermes and the Hunter because you have to have priorities. And, you know, that's that's certainly... Uh, I think it, right now the, the Yosemite is the fastest muscle car. We'll see if it stays that way. And I'll probably get one at some point. But, you know, this, again, those aren't unreasonably priced. They're... There, you know, seven hundred thousand is a lot for pickup, but not if it's the fastest muscle car in the group. That's I'm okay with seven hundred. It's it's the three million dollar stuff that really kind of throws me off. And to be perfectly honest, I would eventually, and this is expensive, but I would like an Akula, the the stealth helicopter because it's stealth capability. That's one of the things that might be a saving grace for free mode in this era of just overpowered stuff flying in your face constantly. I wonder how, if it hides you from the orbital strike, that's kind of the critical thing for me. Will it hide you from the orbital strike? If it does, man, that's a, that's almost a, a must have. I mean, it's $3 million again, 3 million plus probably closer to 4 million when you finally get everything tricked out. But if you just want for the stealth, I believe the stealth features there without any other modifications then you have something you can zip across the map and no one could find you. And again, there's a lot of the mission stuff. It's like, all right, you can't really use it for import-export, um, you know, the special cargo stuff, because eventually you end up driving a car and, uh, you know, someone's going to whack you with an orbital strike. But, you know, or another Akula, so they'll sneak up on you, blow the crap out of you. But you can, you know, you can get there in it. That saves part of the risk. You might be able to you might be able to buy crates with it. I mean that might be something that's really useful. You use that as the vehicle when you're going to buy the crates and you know bring them back. You could load that warehouse right up and then you know then you're trying to pick your your high risk day when uh, when everyone in the lobby seems like they're not jerks with orbital strikes. you know that's that's you know the orbital cannon. Is it a cannon or a strike? I assume it's a missile from on high. You know, it could be a rail gun, but it's probably more likely, um, you know, a missile of some nature. There's explosions and things that go on. It's really annoying. The orbital strike can, honestly, it's like Rockstar. I get enough of this from modders. I don't need it for people who don't want to mod. I mean, this is just annoying. And I, I, if you're. If someone was griefing me so badly that I wanted to hit them with an orbital strike and spend 500000 on an orbital strike, let's not even get to the three quarters of a million for the guaranteed hit. If I was willing to throw away a million dollars just to kill them once, then they've gotten into my head and they've won, okay? They're living rent-free in my head if that's what I'm going to do. 
unless I am obscenely wealthy, unless I've got a hundred million dollars. And think about this. A hundred million dollars is just 200 shots. So where does that leave me here? I mean, that's, you know, all right, we've talked about a little bit of, a little bit of Doomsday, the cars that I want. I don't really have any interest in the other ones. Uh, unless there's something that's going to be faster than a pariah. How could you name a car a pariah? It's like you will be a pariah if you drive this car. Because you'll just destroy everybody else and they will hate you. That's that's what that means. A pariah is like Harvey Weinstein, okay? No one wants to be around him. And the fact that they made an ocelot probably is just to, to tease Bruffy 1322. There's no question about that in my mind. I'm starting to wonder if the fact that the prices of the cars have gone up so much is impartially so that it makes it harder for him to test them and therefore you can't tell what the fastest car is so you only buy that one instead of trying to buy them all and sell them all and go back and forth. But, you know, that's a little bit more conspiracy theory than I usually go into. That's probably a little bit paranoid. Yeah, that's, that's probably out there. But where I'm at now is I have some money. Not a lot of money. I mean, really, $3 million isn't a lot in this game anymore. You could buy one thing with that. And when you consider that you need money to do things like gun running and do things probably like uh, Smuggler's Run, there's got to be some investment into that. So, and you're going to lose money as you do it because, you you know, you're going to get hit with orbital strikes and hunted down by Akulas and all this other kind of stuff that's coming out. It's, um, hunters. I still haven't seen a hunter in the air, so we'll see how that goes. Now with the Akula out, maybe we'll see less hunters and more Akulas. I don't know. The, the hunter has more firepower. The Akula has the stealth thing. We'll see what how, how uh, free mode looks after a while. My plans for the, the gun running stuff, the bunker stuff, and for the hangar stuff is just to continue on with the, uh, the whole CEO in pajamas Series where you know I expect to fail for the most part. I, I try to have victories. I try to do it in a, in a lobby where no one's going to grief me. But it, I am a griefing magnet in those pajamas. It's just how it is. And now, thanks to my wife's Christmas present, I actually have some funds which I can do that with. So that's very nice. And we'll go ahead and get those couple of hot rods and we'll see how things go. And we'll keep racing and keep trying to do things as they go along. Again... I still don't know whether or not I'm going to be able to have enough interesting things going on in GTA um, to main, make this the main game on the channel. There's going to be some other stuff folded in just to keep things interesting, I think. I think I have to do that. And it's something that's just going to happen. Of course, I keep saying that, and then all the videos you get to see are GTA videos, so it's, it's, uh, it's going to be interesting. I do want to get some snow driving in. I'm hoping we get to the, the snow back again this year for Christmas. And, uh, and stuff like that. But, um, so that, that's the story here, you know, and what can we, um, what can we say overall about the experiment? I mean, the experiment was, well, what do you get? And the, the answer was, short term, you get nothing, and then you get what you ask for, basically. So I don't know. Is it possible to double up on those offers? Uh, comment in the description if you've ever been able to double up the offers and get twice as much, uh, money, or if you only get the, uh, if you've ever done this and you've only gotten one of the offers, and you know, how'd that work out for you? Because my experience on this is kind of odd. It was it was kind of odd. Uh, I don't get me wrong. You know, Rockstar support was helpful, and so was Rockstar Warehouse. Everybody was good as far as all that stuff's concerned. But it's definitely so. Here I am. I got six point three million out of the whole deal. Spent a good bit of it. Still have some left over, and now we're going to move forward. So we'll we'll see how it goes going forward. Let me know what you think. Let me think if this was even a remotely interesting story. It's a, at least to let you know what to expect as far as dabbling in shark cards here, you know, swimming with the sharks, as it were. Um, am I going to buy more shark cards in the future? Not in the near future. No, not going to be buying lots of these things. I probably end up doing like one a year, maybe, or one every two years, something along those lines. Just because something specific comes up. The, the last one I did, I only did because I was afraid I was going to miss out on the Halloween cards. And I really, 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 really wanted them. And um, now I, I realize they're going to come back every Halloween. And that's not necessarily something that's always going to happen. But I'm glad I got those. And then I had this this opportunity to see what would happen if you had two offers and you, you, you bought a shark card. And I'm still not sure we know.
but does something glitched out on this and i'm not sure it's exactly went the way it's supposed to be maybe if you get two offers there's a glitch there already and that's how you get nothing maybe that's part of the problem but uh at least there's support to help you when you get through that point and on this note this is your black knight hoping this wasn't a really boring episode strangely enough it was interesting to me when it was happening but uh this is your black knight have a great night